So when we are asked to calculate the percentage by mass of mg, uh, we will divide the mass contributed by mg, which is 24.3, by the total mass, which is 84.3, and, and multiplied by 100 because it's percentage. So the answer we get is 28.8%, which means that the percentage composition by mass of mg in one mole of MgCO3 is 28.8%. Uh, let's take another example. For example, we have carbon dioxide and we want to know the percentage by mass contributed by oxygen in this case. So first the total mass will be 12 plus 16 into 2 because 12 for carbon and 16 for oxygen multiplied by 2 because 2 oxygen atoms. So that this becomes 44. So the mass of uh, CO2, uh, one mole of CO2 is 44 grams per mole and uh, uh, then we have to calculate the percentage by mass of oxygen. So the total mass contributed by oxygen is 32 and the total mass of the of CO2 is 44. So when we multiply this by 100, we get the percentage by mass of oxygen, which is 32 divided by 4, 44 in 200. So the answer is 72.7%. So 72.7%. 7% of the mass of CO2 is contributed by oxygen. In one mole of CO2, 72.7% of the mass is because of the oxygen. And uh, this comes in very handy when we are doing things like empirical formula and molecular formula, which you will just see in the slides to come. So for now, this is what we need to know. This will be 72.7%. So using this, you can calculate the percentage composition by mass of an element uh, in a compound.